Today's TB Talks lesson is going to be all about historically black colleges and universities. Historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs, are institutions of higher education in the United States that were established before the Civil Rights Act of 1964 with the intention of primarily serving the African American community. While most of these institutions were founded in the years after the American Civil War and are concentrated in the southern parts of the United States, there are a few HBCUs established prior to the Civil War, including Cheney University of Pennsylvania, Lincoln University, and Wilberforce University. During the period of segregation in the United States prior to the Civil Rights Act, the overwhelming majority of higher education institutions were predominantly white and completely disqualified or limited African-American enrollment. For a century after the end of slavery in the United States in 1865, most colleges and universities in the southern United States prohibited all African-Americans from attending, while institutions in other parts of the country regularly employed quotas to limit admission of blacks. There are 101 HBCUs in the United States, including both public and private institutions. Although HBCUs were originally founded to educate black students, their diversity has increased over time as they have scholars of all colors and nationalities. HBCU have a rich legacy of matriculating many leaders in the fields of business, law, science, education, military service, entertainment, arts, and sports. This list of alumni includes people such as Martin Luther King Jr., who began his study at Morehouse College. Oprah Winfrey attended Tennessee State University. Michael Strin attended Texas Southern University. Zerga Michelle attended Lincoln University in Pennsylvania and Howard University School of Law. Vice President Camilla Harris received her bachelor's degrees from Howard University. Astronaut Dr. Randall McNair graduated from North Carolina A&T State University. Nancy mathematician Catherine Johnson attended West Virginia State. While HBCUs have a rich legacy that have played a critical role in ensuring that African Americans and scholars of all races receive a quality education, HBCUs continue to carry on this proud legacy by offering first-rate education, unique learning opportunities, and strong alumni support. Any scholar interested in attending an HBCU should apply, as many have rolling admissions dates. Additionally, the largest HBCU college fair in the country takes place annually this month in Washington, D.C. But due to COVID, the fair is now virtual and will be online with over 70 colleges signed up to participate, many of them offering on-site admissions. Scholars can get more information on this by Googling Alfred Street and HBCU College Fair. Thank you, and we hope you learned something.